Hello, 10A. Um, today we are going to try and do that mock exam again. This is a mock assessment, which means it is not homework. I think that most of you probably knew that. Unfortunately, you were given a document that you should not have been. So I've created a new mock assessment for today. First of all, as you can see, I've written some mock exam rules. Number one, no phones, no computers, no translators. Please take everything off your desk. I don't want anything except a pen on your desk. Feel free to pause the video in order to do that. Everything off your desk, no phone, no computer, no translator. Okay. So you should only have the pen and you will be given the assessment paper to be on your table. Before I begin, I did receive some feedback that some of you have been using translators in my class. This is not okay. You will fail. Translators do not work. Uh, the sentence structure is incorrect. We've already had this conversation. You are here to use to learn English, not to learn how to use a translator or a dictionary. I don't want it anymore. Very frustrating. Right, you're going to have one hour to complete this exam. So you're going to go through the break period to complete the exam. I need you to complete the plan, to write a 250 word description, to include an introduction and a conclusion. So complete the plan, the description and including an introduction and conclusion, as well as all of the information. It must be in full sentence structure. Before you hand it in, Please review your work, check the spelling and grammar. Then you need to hand your document to the teacher. You must hand the document to the teacher before you leave the room or touch a telephone, okay? And the teacher will need to take a photo and send it through to me via WeChat so that I can mark these mock assessments. I'll now introduce you to the mock assessment document. You are going to be doing your assessment on the panda, the giant panda. So we've got the scientific name, category, details about its size, length of years that it lives, physical details, family details, habitat, diet, their remaining population and why they're endangered. You also see that we have the references here. The first thing you will do is decide what you're going to include in your introduction, body one, body two and conclusion. Once you've completed this section, and you will be marked on this section, you then need to complete it into a 250 word description, okay? At the bottom, I've actually included a checklist. So have you put everything into a logical order? Have you included all the information? Have you used good linking devices, signposting phrases, defining and non-defining clauses? Have you checked your spelling, sentence structure, grammar and vocabulary? Have you included the reference at the end? As I said, you have one hour to complete this. If the teacher can please now hand out the document, making sure that nobody has any phone, translator, dictionary or otherwise, uh, and please keep to your own work. There is no cheating. Thank you. And I look forward to receiving your mock assessments.